Yo, what is going on? This is your boy, That Guy Face with Face the Music Media. We are back again with another episode of How I Sin. Yo, so listen, the people have spoken in the community tab. We did a poll and we asked which videos that you guys want to see next. The best free sin, my favorite arterial sin, and my favorite modular sin. So the votes are in and it was a unanimous decision. And that was for my favorite arterial sin. I I'll say it like this. I don't have one particular favorite synth that I like from Arturia. There's too many that I like a lot. So I'm just going to pick one that I like a lot that I've been using a lot lately. So in this episode, we will be covering Arturia's DX7. Let's jump into it. DX7 is an FM digital synthesizer. This synthesizer is a little more difficult than your average analog emulation synthesizer, but that's okay. It's still fun. It's still simple to get going and get a nice sounding patch really quick. So let's jump into it. Basically, what you want to do is hit init voice. And as you know, these synths are always really loud. So I'm going to turn the volume down. Let's see what that sounds like fresh out the gate. So let's go ahead and expand the synth so we can open up and see what all this thing has under the hood. So here's your operators. These are your oscillators. They're called operators in this synth. Each one modulates the neck. So the very first operator here, if you turn it down, no matter how many of these you have activated, it's gonna turn everything down. So for instance, if I turn this up and then play it back. As you can see, it turns everything down, even though both operators are activated. And you see how the sound changes as I reduce the level of that operator? It's because the frequency of that operator actually modulates the previous operator. So it changes the sound. If you were to just modulate the level of the second operator, you would get a nice sound. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. I love this plugin. So let's go ahead and change the actual wave shape of the oscillator. And I'm going to go ahead and choose saw. And, you know, if you've watched any of my videos, you already know what I like to do. I like to have two saws and offset the pitch of one to get that phase and that natural pulse width modulation. So I'm going to choose saw wave here. As you can see, there's so many other options that you have here, but I'm going to go with saw. Let's keep it simple. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to invert operator two. So it's flip. Now, what I'm going to do is offset the tune of operator one, and then let's listen for that natural phase. Now this FM synth does some really interesting things. As you can hear, as I adjust that tune, that thing started going kind of crazy, man. And I love that actually. So let's go ahead and mess with the filter and see what that does.
this thing is crazy. Oh my goodness. So basically, I just literally boosted the resonance and sweep through the frequencies to find some of those. I like to call them hidden harmonics, but you can kind of dig in and really get through some of those sweet spots in the actual sin. So I like what I have with that so far. Let's go ahead and I'm going to sweep through the level here and try to find a sweet spot and then go from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's mess with the uh, modulation here and kind of uh, see what we can get going with some mods. So basically with the modulation, you have a matrix here and you can assign all these different sources and let's see what we want to mess with. So let's go ahead and go to operator one and let's choose the cutoff for the filter and let's see what that sounds like. Nice. Love that. Okay, so I think I'm ready to add some effects. So let's go ahead, go to the effects panel, and let's see what we can come up with. I think I'm going to start out with the, let's go with the flanger first and see what we can come up with. Sounds crazy already. Love that.
loving that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the next slide. Let's do analog chords to see what we can come up with. <laughs> Yo, this thing is beastie. Man, all right, cool. I'm loving that. So let's go ahead and add a reverb. Actually, let's let's do the delay first and then a reverb. Holy moly. Now we are ready for the reverb. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to put the delay here because I didn't even notice this. The arrows show you in which way it moves. So basically, it's going to go from this effect to this effect to this effect to this effect. I want the delay to go into the reverb, not the reverb into the delay. So I'm going to take these settings and do them here. Let's see. And then I'm going to do the reverb here. Man. I'm trying to see how much of a tail is on that. Nice. That sounds amazing. Let's go ahead and mess with this arpeggiator here and see if we can come up with. Wow. 
<laughs> that sounds crazy. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and try something real quick. I'm gonna put these settings for the reverb here and then I'm going to put on some bit crushing. So I think that will sound good with the arpeggio. So let's see what that sounds like. I'm gonna go here and let's go to destroy. Yo, this plugin is amazing, man. This plugin is amazing. So one thing I want to do is I'm going to add soft tube tape so we can get that wobbly lo-fi texture. So let's go ahead and see what we can come up with with this. Yo, that's the end of this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. What are some of the favorite things you like about this synth? Have you ever used a synth? Have you ever tried to make a patch from scratch using Arturius DX7? Let me know, I'm excited to see. Anyway, man, this is that guy face, face the music media. I'm out, man. Hey.